Okay, so looking at the wedge block, where we push out this way, and of course it appears in a back stance in Hianyondan, and a front stance in Jiongkata, and sometimes people will explain that like this. They'll say there's a, a couple of hands coming in for you, and you're going to wedge those arms apart. Um, so that would be one explanation. But we quite like to use a different way of looking at it. So the way we look at it is if we've got him really close like this, and everything's going a little bit pear-shaped, and slide the hand up high into the collar, and the other side, and just pull those hands apart, never going to get there, but it's the effort of going that way that gets us our effect. So in one kata, we see it as up into here and pulling back, and in another kata, we see it as pushing in to do the same job. So that gives us our, our reasons for the two different versions of what's essentially the same thing.